This is uh, some of my old bottle collection here. I just want to show you some of the uh, the classics I have here, the blob tops from the 1800s. And for those of you that don't know what a blob top is, well, these bottles were blown glass back in the day, and um, the tops of them are like blobs, and they had a porcelain stopper in them. So here's probably one of my oldest ones. This one's circa 1870. Two around... Uh, 1890 and you can see it's got a rounded end on it and it's got the blob top and that's a pop bottle it says Belfast on it got to keep them here in my man cave because wife doesn't want this stuff cluttering up her house right and I, it's understandable um, here's more blob tops here those are all blob top bottles another one up there and there's some old Mountain Dews really old ones I have even older ones. There's the first ones. It has the fillers on the bottle. Filled by uh, Jim and Clara. Those are about 1965. And then I have some of the newer ones as well. There's Kickapoo Joy Juice. The uh, yellow one. Similar to Mountain Dew. It's got the hillbillies on it. And there's the white one in the back. And uh, some more Mountain Dews. There's the newer Mountain Dews from the 70s. Some old milk bottles in there and stuff. Old Orange Crush bottles here. This is just some of my bottles. I have some really old ginger beer bottles. I have another, I have a few more in the house actually. These are uh, from the 1800s. My oldest is around 1870. So that's uh, stoneware. And that's what ginger beer used to come in. Those are from the UK. It's kind of cool. I love, I always liked old bottles. I've been collecting them since I was a kid. Matter of fact, this one here, this orange crush is from 1920. Two, I believe, or 21. 1921, August 22nd, 1921. I uh, got that when I was a kid up in Roberts Creek. I'll never forget. It was uh, sitting in behind the old shed we had up there. That would have been, oh, in the late 1960s. So, And same with these ones, these Kickapoo Joy Juice I've had since I was a kid. Got these ones in the mid-70s, probably about 1974 I got that one. So I've been collecting bottles a long time. Some of them are worth a few bucks, but I'm not planning on selling them. I'm just going to I'm just going to hang on to them. I like looking at them. And that's where my bike happily rests. Right there. In that man cave. 